Hey, what's up? My name is Corey Fuckstra. My name is Corey Fuckstra. You can't hear me? All right. I'm going to read my book, the Bible. The Bible. It's the Bible. The Holy Bible. King James Version. All right. King James Version, Holy Bible. All right, let's get to it. It's been a long time since I read the Bible. All right. All right. We got a bookmark right here, looks like, from where we left off a long time ago. For some odd reason, the Bible... I mean, I read the Bible a long time ago, but I didn't like... I don't know if we finished reading the, the uh, Noah and the Ark. I don't know. I don't know what happened. This is my bookmark. It is the Charmander Pokemon card that I put in here for a bookmark. Now, where did we left off, folks? Where did we left off? Well... Noah cursing Canaan. That's what that says. So, we're up to Canaan, I think. All right. By the way, last I remembered... Hold on a second. I don't know what happened. But Noah, Noah's sin was really weird. I am not going to talk about that. That was really gross. Okay? Noah's sin, I remembered it. It was kind of weird. I don't know. He kind of had a fetish for it. I don't know what the heck happened. Anyhow, let's get down to um, uh, reading the Bible. Now, these are the generation. This is chapter 10 of... Uh, we're still in the books. Uh, why did it? I already know how to read the Bible. I don't need all this other crap in here. All right, we just want to read the Bible. We don't want to go over anything else. This is the Old Testament. This is the book of Genesis. One of the first books of Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is chapter 10. So let's read chapter 10. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, wear my shades as uh, reading glasses. All right, <clears throat> let's begin. Chapter 10. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah. Shem, Ham, Jeph Jepheth, and unto them were sons born of the af after the flood. The son Jepheth. Gomer and Ma Magog and Medai and Javan and Tubal and Meshech, Mesh I mean Meshech, they call him, and Tyrus and the sons of Gomer, uh, Ashkenaz and Ripheth and Te T I mean, uh, uh, and uh, Togar Ma, Togamar, I don't know. All right. And the sons of Jevon, Elisha, and Tar Tarshish. Sorry that I'm saying the words wrong. Uh, their names wrong. I'm saying them wrong. I bet you 100% I'm saying these names the wrong way for some odd reason. Because I never heard these names before. I don't think. You ever name somebody... Uh, Tarshish, Kittim, and Da, Do, I mean, uh, Dodenim. I never heard those names before. I bet you haven't either. That's the reason why we should all read the Bible. Figure out these names once. What are these people going to do? And the sons of Ham and Cut, wait, hold on a second. But th these were the isle, islands or isles. 
of the Gentile dividing their lands. Everyone after his tongue, after their families and their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, Cush. That's what they call them, uh, weed. You got the OG Cush. Got the OG Cush. Okay. We're not talking about weed. This is a family friendly Bible study. Shut up, Corey. Now read the Bible the right way now. All right. Um, uh, after his tongue, after the families in their nations and the sons of Ham and Cush, Mizraim and Foot. Foot. Spell a PH. UT. And Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Hathala, and Subta, and Rama, and Subtica, and uh, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedim. That's a lot of sons. She whiz. Cool it down, Noah. Cool it down. That's a lot of sons in your family. I think I'm reading this wrong. These could be their, his brother or his wives. I don't know any of these people that, that the Bible is describing here. All I know is Canaan and uh, Meshach or whatever. And Noah and other things. I don't know any of these people. I don't know if they're that important in the story. But we're going to find out, folks. Uh, Cush Beget, Nimrod, Ugh. okay, we'll begin it right there, oh, sh wrong way to read the Bible, um, Nimrod began to be a mighty one in the earth, he was mighty hunter, hunter, before the Lord, a hunter before the Lord, there, wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter, uh, before the Lord, and the beginning of the kingdom was Babel. Can I you wonder if that has something to do with Babylon? Because Babel sounds like something that's to do with Babylon. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. This all takes place in... Uh, uh, I'm not going to say it. Anyhow, um, otherwise it might get canceled. Um... I'm about to sneeze. Hold on a second. On the count of three, everybody say bless you when I sneeze. <laughs> bless you. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, allergies. All right. Let's drink some water and begin reading the, the whole entire thing. And the rest of this chapter 10. I wasn't thirsty that time, but that just do. Yeah, keep my throat moist so I can read more. All right. Where were we? Uh. Yeah, I burped. I always burp. I don't think it's for babies to burp. Burping and farting is funny. Keep it biblical. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, don't be gross. All right. With Babel and Eric and Akkad and Kelna and the land of Shinar. Out of the land went forth Asher and built Nineveh. And city of Rahaboth and Kala and Risen and between Nineveh and Kala. The same is a great city. And Mizram begat Lidim or Ludim and Enamanmin and Lehibim and Neftanhim. That's right, people. That's right. Take your time. All right. Let's keep reading. 
Mizraim begat Ludim, and Enamim, and Lahabim, and Nephtahim. I already read that. Uh, and Be Patharusim, and Caslim, out of whom came Philistim, and Kephtorim, who, uh, Canaan, begat Sidon, his firstborn, and uh, Heth, uh, and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hiphite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, and the Zemurite, and the Hemathite, and the Averid, where the families of the Canaanites spread abroad, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, or Gaza, or I don't know, as it, thou goes unto Sodom and Gomorrah, uh oh, Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adma and Zeboam, even unto Lasha, these are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations, unto the Shem, also the father of the children of Eber, and the brother of Jepheth the Eldar, and even to him. Were born children, the children Shem, Elam, Asher. I'm going into lots of detail when reading this. At first, I could never read this much, but yeah, I had to skip out a couple things. But right now, I'm doing quite well. Let's keep at it, folks. Whoo! That's a lot of reading. Ephraim said, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul. And gather and mash. And Arphas, uh, and Arphax said, Beget Salah and Salah, or Salah, uh, beget Eber. And unto Eber were born the sons, the name of the well, one was Peleg, for in the days was the earth divided. The earth divided. And the brother's name was Joktan. Joktan beget Almadad and Shelef and uh, Hazar, Hazar Maveth and Jura and Hadaram and Zuzul and Dikla and Obol and Abamel and Sheba. Sheba, that's one of Bathsheba. No, I don't think that's her. And Ophir and Hevla. And Jabab, all these were sons of Joktan. Holy moly. Uh, and their dueling, I mean dwelling, was the, from Mesha as the thou ghost unto Sephar, a mount of east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, and their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations and their nations and by these were the nations divided the earth after the flood. Okay. So these are the nations and families and so forth that uh, just came to be when uh, uh, after the flood. All right, folks. Chapter 11. Let's make sure we marker this. Okay. We got to read more because all we read was just people in the whole families and nations. Now we got to read what will happen or the origin or I don't know what might happen. I don't know. We'll see once. There's something to do with the great tower of Babel. How great that is. Ooh. All right. And the whole earth was on, of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed. They should have English be that. Okay? The, everybody should learn to speak American English. I'm sick and tired of Spanish people and Mexican and Chinese and Japanese and all the other races. Why not just have simple English? 
speak American. All right. It came to pass as the journey from the east and that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. What? And they dwelled there. And they said to another, Go to, to let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime and that they for mortar. Yeah. And they said, Go to let us build a city and tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to the city and the tower which the children of men built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all the language in this. <clears throat> they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which have imaged, imagined to do. Go to us, go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the earth, and they left off to build the city. All right. There is a name of it called Babel. Because the Lord didn't, I mean, the Lord did their confound, e, I mean, uh, Lord confound their language of the earth. I wonder what language that is. It better be English. I'm sick and tired of people that don't speak English. These are the generations of Shem, Shem, and a hundred years old, beget Ephrek said, two years after the flood. And Shem left after he beget Ephrek said, five hundred years, and beget sons and daughters. And Ephrek said, live five and thirty years, and began Selah. And Ephrek said, Arphek said, oh, I read that wrong. I don't know how to say that word, uh, that name or that place. I don't know what it is. What is it, folks? Uh, Arphic said. Arphic said. That's how you say it. I don't know. Well, there they began Selah 403 years and beget sons and daughters. Selah lived 33. Selah lived 30 years and beget Eber. And Selah. Live there after he begets ever 403 years. They go over too much math here. 30 years and begin pulling. There we go again. Okay, let's keep reading, but hopefully chapter 12 is the story here. I don't want to just read over and over these names. And how they lived until they died. And it just goes over on and on and on and on and on. I can't I can't take any more of this reading. So let's keep reading. And daughters. Eber, blah, blah, blah. Let's try to skip all these names. Holy moly. I just want to know the story. Okay. I might be cheating by uh, going over, I mean, by skipping some of this, but this is a lot of generations that even read. All right? This is too much to uh, read. Really, it's too much to read. It could take up all my whole day just reading this. So. Trying to skim right through this. I think chapter 12. Chapter 12 should be the part. That we keep reading. And it will make sense now. That we don't have to read all this generation stuff. Of families and uh, nations and stuff certain culture all right now the lord said unto abram get thee out of the country 
from thy kindred, from my my father's house, unto a land that I shew thee. And I'll make thee um, a great nation. Okay? And I will bless thee. Make thy name great. Okay, now we're getting up to an actual story. We're not just reading the whole list of people that they gave birth to. And great, and thou shalt be blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went to with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all the substance substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth to get, go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sikkim, unto the plain of Moray. And the Canaanite was the, then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram, and said unto thee, Thy seed will I give the land, and there built be an altar unto the Lord, who appeared unto them. And he removed, removed, from there unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and high on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord, and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south, and there famine in the land. Famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt, to sojourn there, what? There, for the famine was grievous in the land. All right, now we're getting up to kind of a story here. We can picture a story going on. A great adventure. And it came to pass when he was, was uh, come near to enter into Egypt. So now they're in Egypt. Nothing wrong with that. But that he said unto Sarai, his wife, Behold now, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall be pass when the Egyptians shall see thee, and th that they shall say, This is the his wife. And they will kill me, but they will save their alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with my th thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. And it came the past that when Abram was come into e I mean was ca came into Egypt. I mean, the Egyptians beheld the woman that she was very fair. The princes also of Pharaoh saw her and commanded that her before Pharaoh. And the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house, and he entered, I mean, entreated Abram well for her sake. And he had sheep and oxen and, and uh, let's just say donkeys. We don't need to swear here because we're reading the Bible. All right? But back then, ass meant donkey for some odd reason. Uh, and men servites. And maid, I mean, <sighs> men servant and maid servants, and she, and she donkeys and camels, and Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. Wow, and Pharaoh called Abram and said, "What is this thou hast done unto me? Why did thou not tell me that she was my wife?" Why well, said though she is my sister, so I might have to take have taken 
referred to me to wife. There's a lot going on here. Now therefore, behold my wife, take her and go thy way. Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away and his wife and all that he had. I don't get what's going on, but it sounds like a betrayal between um, sister and wife. It sounds like incest. What the heck? All right. Got that done, folks. Chapter 13. All right. And Abram went to, up to Egypt, and he and his wife and all that he had lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in his silver and in gold. And he went to on his journeys from the south, even at Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been beginning between Bethel and High. I thought this was about... This is interesting. I wonder if this is before or after the Tower of Babel. This is very interesting. I wonder what's going on here. Let's keep reading. From the south, even Bethel, between Bethel and High, unto the place of altar, which he had made there at the first, and there Abram called the name of the Lord. And Lot also, which went to Abram and had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them that. They might dwell together, for the substance was great, so that they could dwell together. And there was a strife between the herd herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite Perzite dwelled then in the land. Uh, there's strife. I pray thee between uh, me and thee, between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself. I pray thee from me, thou wilt take the land hand. hand. And I'll go to the right, or if thou depart to the right. Let's see how long this video is. We'll go an extra an extra um, couple minutes. All right, folks. My beard feels weird. All right. Then I'll go to the left. And Lot lifted his up his eyes, beheld all the plain of Jordan, uh, that... It was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Finally. They destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for some odd reason. We'll figure that out later on probably in this book or Bible. Um, Even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan. And Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves, the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of Plain, and pitched the tent towards Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. So, it wasn't just, um, okay, so let me, let me get this straight. Sodom and Gomorrah, came the story of Sodom and Gomorrah sounds like it came first before the Tower of Babel. Alright? It might have. Let's keep reading and hopefully we can get this all figured out. Alright. Separated themselves from the other uh, Canaan well in the city of Plain and pitched the tent to Sodom. I already read that. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that lot separate unto them, lift up now thine eyes, and look for the place there thou art northward, and southward, and eastward, and westward, for all the land which thou yet, blah, 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 and I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, 
so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall be seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it, of it and in the breadth of it, uh, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre, which is in Hebron, and built there an altar unto the Lord. So they're trying to get an altar everywhere they go. An altar to the Lord. The Lord. Chapter 14. How far do we go? Let's get done these two pages. And then we'll see here. Let's go up to chapter 16, folks. Like, uh, where are we? Oh, man. Okay. This is chapter 14. And it came to pass in the days of Ampharal, king of Shinar, Ariel, king of Elasar, Cheddar Lomer, king of Elam, and title king of nations, that these made war with Bera, king of Sodom, and with Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Edma, and Shemaber, king of Seboam, and the king of Bela, which Zord, all these joined together, Vel Sidlam, Sinem, which is the salt sea. Twelve years they served Shedalomar, and in the thirteenth year rebelled, and in the fourteenth year Shedalomar, and the kings that were with him, and smote the Rephaims. Ooh, that's a word that, um, it seems familiar. What's a Rephaim? The film. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep reading. Um, where are we? Okay. Okay. Refiums in Eshtoreth, Karnam, and the Zuzims in Ham, and the Emims in Sheva, Carithium, and the Horites, and there's Mount Seir unto El, I mean El Paran. Which is by the wilderness. And they returned and came into Enemish Pet, which Kedesh, and smote all the countries of the Amalekites and also Amorites that dwell in Hezazoth, I mean Hezazan Tamar. And there were, went out the king of Sodom, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Edma, and the king of Zeboam, and the king of Ella, the same in. Is Zor and they joined battle with them. They're trying to fight Sodom and Gomorrah with Shadar Lomar, the king of Elam, and the title king of nations. And Emraphel, king of Shinar, and Ariok, king of Elisar. Four kings with five, and the Vale of Sidim was full of. Slime pits? There's slime in this? Okay, can anybody tell me what does the Bible beat mean by this? Slime pits. Something to do with their armpits? I don't know. They got stinky armpits. They don't clean themselves back then in the Bible times. They got slimy armpits. I bet. All right. Try to cleanse yourself with the word of God. There's my shield. And go out to battle against the modern days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Hollywood, California. They're all phonies. All right. So, um, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled and fell there. And they were remained fled in to the mountain, and they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and they all victuals, and went their way. And they took Lot, 
Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods and departed. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram in the Hebrew, for they dwelt in the plain of Memer and Amorite, brother of Eskel and brother of Enner. And these were confederate, confeder <laughs> they were confederates back then with Abram. And they, when Abram heard that, they're probably not the confederates we have these days, okay? They didn't have confederate flags back then, okay? They're racist about other things, not just black people back then. So cool your, cool it, okay? I know that racial divide, yeah, whatever. We don't need to talk racist around here because we're reading the Bible. Let's listen to what God says about race, not what you think is acceptable and you're against this race and uh, you're racist as well. You hate black people. I and I and some people hate white people. I don't like any of that crap. Stop being racist. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, all right. Where were we? It took the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah. And fled and fell there, and they remained fled to the mountain. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all the victory of that. Okay, and they took a lot of Abram's brother's sons, son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. And there came one of that escaped that told Abram, Abram the Hebrew, for dwelt in the plain of Memer, and Amorite, brother of Eskel, and brother of Enner, and these were confederate in Abram. All right. Yep. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed and trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and persuade them into Dan, and he divided himself against them and his servants. There's a lot of wars going on. I don't know if you all got that uh, noted down. You're taking notes. There's a lot of war going on back then. Yep, between kings and armies. Cool. Why don't they show that when they're preaching? I'll never know. We need to teach our kids this stuff. And yet they leave a lot of stuff out of the Bible and talk about the random, not random, but this is all random stuff that nobody talks about when it comes to the Bible. Like, who are these families, kings, um, generations? Who are these people that give, I mean, have families and have kids in the Bible? Who are they? And then there's too many of them. A lot of characters. There could be like a list of millions and thousands of people in this Bible. More than a video game. That role-playing video game that people play. There's tons of characters with that too yet. So, yeah. Okay, back to reading this. When Abram heard that the, his brother was taken captive, he armed and trained his servants, born in his... Okay, I already read that. We already know that he took servants and made them into soldiers to fight the... Sodom and Gomorrah, the bad guys. And he brought back all the goods and also bought back, I mean, good, again, his brother Lot and his goods. And the women also and the people and the king of Sodom went out to meet him. Uh-oh. After his return from slaughter of Shadar Lomar. Holy cow, slaughter. This is graphic, people. There's some graphic stuff here. Get ready. This is going to be a bloodbath. All right. 
and our and of the kings that were with him at the valley of Sheba, which is the king's dale, and Melchizedek, I've heard of that before, that uh, name, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be, blessed be Abram and the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the Most High God, which hath delivered thine enemies into the into my hands, and he gave them tithes of all. And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up mine hand unto the Lord, the Most High God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from Threat, I will not take from a thread even to a shoe like it, and that I will not take anything that is thine. Because you don't take stuff from, I mean, you don't take guff. You don't tolerate these people who are Sodom and Gomorrah. You don't take their goods. No. That's bad. You could have bad luck, or give you sexual AIDS. The Simon Gomorrah, they're into that crap, okay? California and Hollywood, California and Hollywood are both modern-day Simon Gomorrah. Let's keep reading. I mean, okay. Anything? Lest thou sh shouldest say, I made Abram rich. Blessed. He became rich. Say, only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion of men which went with me, enter Eskel and Emmer, let them take their portion. So now they're having a feast. They won a couple battles against a uh, couple kings, and now. They're rich, and they're going to have a feast. Good ending of the story, right? Let's keep reading. Chapter 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came into the Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield. I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, that what will thou uh -oh, give me? See, I go childless, he has no children, and the steward of my house is this Alazar of Damascus. Uh-oh, more family feuds. <laughs> and Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine there. And behold, a word of the Lord came unto him, saying, this shall not be thine here, but ye that shall come forth of thine own bowels shall be thine here. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven, look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be, be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall th thy seed be. This is like the story of... Uh, Abraham, kind of. Um, and he believed in the Lord. The Lord. And he's counted it to him righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought you thee out of the earth of the Chaldees to give thee this land inherited. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? Drink some water, man. Bear with me here. Reading up to chapter 16, then we're done. Okay. I can do this, even though I haven't read much lately. All right. He said unto him, Take me, Heifer, of three years old, 
and the she goat of the three years old, she goat of three years old, a goat, and a ram, three years old, three year old rams and goats only, and a turtle dove, turtle dove, they're real, and a young pigeon, and took unto them all these and divided them into midst. And led each one and one against another, but the birds divided in not, so the bird, the animals are also fighting, while we're all fighting a war. <laughs> all right, it's another, but the birds divided in not, but they had a victory. Remember, they had a victory in this story, that they all got. I mean, Abraham or Abram got rich, and they all had a feast. Abram's and lo, a horror of sleep fell upon Abram. Uh, and lo, of horror of sleep, great darkness fell upon him. And he said, Abram, know of surety that thy sh seed shall be stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years, and also the nation whom they shall serve. Well, thy judge and afterward, they shall come out with great substance, and thou shalt go to the fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in old, good old age. But in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. For the iniquity of the armory, uh, Amorites, Amorites is not yet full. So they're waiting for a generation to build up. Another one. <laughs> Lots to read. We're almost done. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, small looking furnace. I'm checking on the time because I don't want this video to be too long, like hours long. But I don't know if it's been an hour yet. Dark, behold, smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. And the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto the seed I have given the land. For the river, river of Egypt unto the great river of Euphrates, Canaanites and Kenizzites and the Kemadites and the ooh, Hittites and the Perizzites and the Rephaims and uh, the Rimmerites and the Canaanites and the Girgashites and the Jebusites. Ha! There we go. All right, we read down to chapter sixteen. Oh, that was uh, quite something.